hello techies so today in this video we will discuss about the difference between 3 pin and 4 pin so either it is uh, igbt or mosfet so when we have uh, everything uh, similar for example breakdown voltage and same current rating so but we are left with uh, 3 pin or 4 pin uh, igbt selection so in this case uh, what should we consider we should consi consider 3 pin or 4 pin so other than cost uh, somebody says that uh, 3 pin is cheaper or 4 pin is uh, cheaper so based on cost we should select this uh, mosfet or this igbt uh, but there are other perspective also uh, that we have to consider uh, before selecting 3 pin or 4 pin igbt or mosfet so let's consider uh, an example and let's un uh, understand with the help of data sheet so here i have taken infineon data sheet so this is a 3 pin uh, igbt 650 volt and uh, so around 75 amps igbt on the other hand i have also taken 4 pin igbt same 650 volt and 75 amps IGBT. So, in this, uh, out of these two IGBTs, which one we should select? Somebody says that this is cheaper, so let's select uh, this. But uh, there are some <coughs> uh, technical um, like uh, effect on your design or technical impact on your design that you have to uh, consider. So, let's see uh, what's the difference between. Mm, six, uh, three pin MOS, uh, MOSFET or four pin MOSFET or IGBT. So I have uh, one block diagram um, that shows the uh, standard three pin and four pin. So what is the difference between three pin and four pin? So in three pin we have uh, three pin. One is for drain and source, and one pin is uh, dedicated to gate and uh, the gate and source is driven by uh, with the source pin and uh, on the other hand we have a uh, one uh, four pin igbt in which uh, we have a four pin and out of one pin is uh, dedicated for driving gate so this extra pin is called kernel so this is a kernel source so what happened is uh, there is a difference of parasitics so there is a lead uh, always uh, lead inductance uh, involved because uh, the pin uh, length is long and these are thin so it creates um, additional inductance so in three pins uh, what happens is uh, when the current is passing uh, through let's say 75 amps is passing through uh, drain then source here so what happens is uh, when high current flows through this and, the, and that is a switching current so what happens is uh, there is a voltage drop uh, created across this and uh, when the voltage drop uh, created across uh, this uh, parasitic inductance uh, there is a voltage drop uh, in the gate voltage for example if uh, here it is uh, plus one then and here it is 10 volt then uh, gate to source uh, voltage will be 10 minus 1 9 volt so because of this uh, uh, 9 volt uh, there is an increase in this uh, rds1 also and also um, and also increase in the switching losses because uh, the voltage is reduced so the current is uh, increased and uh, in this case what happens is uh, the same current is uh, flowing through this parasitic inductance but the thing is uh, voltage drop is not uh, impacted because uh, get to source voltage uh, remains same and because uh, the reference for the source is uh, difference different now uh, not the same so the voltage across get to source is uh, um, the voltage that you deliver here across uh, out of the drive and uh, the gate current is uh, very less so there is hardly any voltage drop okay yeah 
and uh, since there is no voltage drop uh, and there is a stable power supply across this uh, gate voltage so the switching loss is uh, uh, quite reduced as compared to 3 pin MOSFET to verify this uh, mm, let's uh, go to the uh, data sheet so this is a uh, 650 volt MOSFET uh, this is a 3 pin MOSFET 4 pin so this is a 4 pin MOSFET and if we go to total switching energy uh, so 2570 uh, 5 amps uh, it gives switching loss of 1.6 millijoule on the other hand if we go to 3 pin so let's see so total switching uh, losses uh, with same condition is 3.2 almost 50% uh, 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 reduction 50% um, reduction in switching losses also we can compare uh, switching losses with respect to collector current so let's go to characteristics so so this is switching loss, switching loss, and this is also switching loss, collector meter voltage. But uh, we want switching loss with respect to current. So let's find. Yeah, here it is. So the top one is total. Uh, let's see at 75 or let's say 100 amps. 100 amps it is something around 6 millijoule for uh, 3 pin now let's see for 4 pin at 100 amps how much it is there uh, this is the thing at 100 amps something in between so this is around uh, less than 4.5 so it's almost 4.5 here it is 4.5 and 3 pin it is 6 so you can see 4.5 to 6 and you can calculate how much percentage it is so almost uh, 1.5 millijoule is reduced so you can calculate how much percentage it is other than this uh, switching losses also depends on uh, temperature and uh, gate resistance yeah because uh, why gate resistance because of the voltage drop and uh, uh, power losses and the gate drive other than this uh, gate threshold collector collector current i have already shown you and yeah gate resistance and temp junction temperature also switching energy losses uh, collector amount of voltage okay so i hope you understand uh, uh, what is the difference uh, between 3 pin and 4 pin either it is mosfet or igbt so in summary uh, 4 pin is better but uh, you can always check the cost from uh, mauser uh, which one is cheaper and there is always a trade off if there is a high cost difference then you have to improve your design on some other uh, on uh, another platform or another uh, way to compensate the losses so uh, occurred in incurred in uh, 3 pin or uh, so there is always a trade off between cost and uh, component selection 3 pin or 4 pin